everyone, welcome back. Or if you're new, welcome. My name is Kiriel. We need to get right on into this video because I'm really excited. <laughs> I'd actually already filmed the videos that I was going to today, but then these came to my door and I had to take my makeup off, reapply my base, and get to filming again because these are one of the products that I've been highly anticipating and I really wanted to try. It's the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer and Blush. So as you guys can see, I've got a blank canvas. I've just got foundation and concealer on. No powder or anything because we're going to be applying these to the face, seeing what the consistency is like, what they apply like, and all that fun stuff. But before we do, if you are new and you're just now seeing my videos, if you do enjoy content like this, like reviews, makeup, tutorials, all that kind of stuff, then I'd recommend you subscribe to see my future content. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the little bell button, and then that will just notify you when I upload next. I love having new people to talk about makeup with and expanding my community here where we can talk about these things. But yeah, enough self-promotion, let's get right on in to these products. So I just saw I'd include some swatches just on my arm so you guys can see the shades. So here is the new cream bronzer. And then here is the original matchsticks shade in the same shade. It's a little bit different, but only slightly. It's just a bit lighter, but it is the same tone. And then finally, just because it's a similar sort of product, I thought I'd also show you the Huda Beauty Tantor next to this, so you guys can see the difference. So that is the Fenty Beauty Tantor. So much different, so much warmer in color. Definitely more of a bronzer shade, so if you are fair, if you're looking for a cream bronzer out of these two, I definitely recommend going with the Fenty just because of the tone alone. All right, so we are all pinned back. I've also randomly spawned some earrings because I felt weird without any, <laughs> but let's get to trying these products. So I have three tools on hand. I have a brush. This is actually by Fenty Beauty. It's the 120 highlight brush. It was kind of shaped to get this area, but also I think it's good for this area because you can kind of place the product, but then blend it. So this is good for contouring as well as highlighting. And it gives you a little bit more precision because of the size. And then I've also got an elf sponge just in case it really needs blending and I'm struggling with the brush. And then I've also got my blendful on hand as well. So this is the cream bronzer. It's the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. And I've got the shade Amber, which is the lighter shade. And also it's more of a cool tone kind of moment. I am very fair, so I do go for the paler shade. This is the packaging. It's very consistent with Fenty's other releases. It's in their standard kind of packaging. But let's open it up and see what's inside. So it, it looks pretty much identical to the bronzer. It's the same hexagon kind of shape. It's the same color, but it's just got the cream in white. So it is very distinctive to the regular bronzer and just has Fenty Beauty on the front. So you will be able to tell which one's which. And then when you open it, it looks like this. Um, it's coming off very gray because of the light, because obviously it's a cream, so it's reflecting my soft box right now. But if I tilt it down, you can kind of see the shade there. And it is a very grayish bronze, which is the kind of thing that I need, especially if I want to sculpt my face as well as give it some warmth. This is the kind of tone that I need. When opening the bronzer, it does appear that there's little like droplets on the actual product in itself. I'm assuming that's just the moisture in the pan. It does have a mirror in there as well, which is great. This is the Fenty bronzer. This is the fair shade in the sun. This is a powder bronzer and then this is the cream one next to it. Obviously you can see there's a bit of a shade difference there. <laughs> this is obviously to just give like a subtle warmth to the skin, but I'm assuming this is supposed to be like a contour and bronzer combined. But anywho, enough talking. I just need to try this right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the brush. I'm gonna aim to put the product on the bottom part of the brush and then let the top bristles do the blending for me. Just gonna poke a little bit and let's apply. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go in lightly first of all, let the bristles do the work, you know? Whoa. <laughs> okay, it is very cool tone. That is such a good shadow color. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more product. Just gonna blend this and kind of make it contour and sculpt my cheek. Wow, okay. That is super blendy. And I'm using a brush to apply this and it's still blending really well. Wow. I think that's such a good sculpting product for me. It does give a slight warmth to the skin, but it's more sculpting for me, which I love. As you dip into the product, as you can kind of see, it's kind of pulling a little bit more gray tone. If you just look at it from face value, it does kind of look more warm tone, but I am loving, oh, look at that. Oh, the snatchery. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Just gonna quickly do this side of my face. Do you see how good this brush is? It just literally hugs that area. 
it's really buildable, which I appreciate. It's not too much all at one time. It hasn't picked up any of my foundation. It just literally melted into my skin really well. I'm just gonna snatch my forehead a little because I got, you know, enough for two. <laughs> bit down the side of my nose I don't want to do too much and I just want to do it softly just for like a little bit of definition you know Okay, I always go a little bit overboard on my forehead, so I'm just gonna blend it out with my sponge. I could keep going with my brush, but I just want to make it easier on myself, you know? Alright guys, I'm just losing natural light, so I just put on my main light. So hopefully it doesn't look too crazy now. I'm just gonna sculpt out the jawline quite a bit, apparently. <laughs> if that ain't a jawline, I don't know what is. <laughs> that is uh, extreme. But that's the kind of like shade that I need for like a contour. If I really want to fake a jawline, this is the kind of shade that I need. And I appreciate this. <laughs> I'm gonna take my sponge and soften it a little. I find that if I go in with more of a warm tone bronzer, I can kind of calm the shadow a little bit. But this is blending out nicely with a brush and a sponge. I'm thoroughly impressed. Look at the chisel and also the bronze. I feel like it has given me that kind of warm toned look, but also given me the that I need, you know. <laughs> I didn't say what claims it was on this product, by the way, you just kind of dived in. But let's review them. It's 28 pounds, which is very expensive for a bronzer. <laughs> it's supposed to give a fresh bronzed glow, easy to blend, light as air, sweat resistant. I would agree, it's really easy to blend, really effortless. As you guys saw real time there, it was really quick and easy to apply. And yeah, it is very light. It doesn't feel like a heavy cream. It's a very thin consistency, but it's also buildable, which I love. I love the seamlessness of it. I feel like sometimes with a powder, it can be too harsh and you may not be able to blend that well, but a cream bronzer, like it's just so seamless. If you just set this with a translucent powder, you'll just have that kind of chiseled bronze look and it'll look just gorgeous by itself. All right, now moving on to blush. This is the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. I got the shade Petal Poppin. There was a lot of shades, I think like 10 shades of the blush. It's got this pretty white packaging with the metallic silver writing on it. It's really pretty. This has a mirror in it as well. In comparison to the bronzer, there is a hell of a size difference, like a ridiculous size difference. And I didn't think it was gonna be this small, if I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was gonna be a bit bigger, like the size of the bronzer. I know the bronzer was 28, but this is 19 pounds. Like what? It is tiny, smaller than the palm of my hand. To me, that is just insane. Anyway, let's hope the product is good. So I got the shade Petal Poppin, and it's a pretty peachy coral. It's very bright, I love the shade. I thought out of all of the shades in the range, this would be the one that I'm more likely to use. There was also an orangey toned one, which really caught my eye, but I just wanted to buy one considering it was 19 pounds. So I got this shade, and it is stunning. Now I'm gonna try applying this with my fingers first of all. It feels really light, very bright on my finger there. Let's hope this blends out. So I'm just gonna apply Oh my gosh, a little bit. And then I'm gonna use another finger to blend it out so I'm not adding more product and spreading more product. So I'm just gonna apply some right here. Wow. Yeah, okay, it does sheer out and it is buildable, which is great news. And as you can see, it's not as scary as it was on my finger and in the pan. And it's just a nice flush of color. Ooh, I really like the shade. I mean, I like corally kind of peachy blushes anyway, but this is a beautiful shade. The thing is with cream blushes, it's more of a sheer application, whereas I feel like with a powder, sometimes you can get a little bit carried away. She says as she keeps applying and puts a lot of blush on. <laughs> oh, that is so pretty. Like, look at that color. Oh my gosh. It has a slight luminosity to it. Like, as you can see, it's kind of got a little bit of shine on my skin. The consistency of it, it almost feels like it melts as you put your finger on it. It feels so nice. If I had to compare it to anything, I would say it kind of feels like aloe vera 
in a way. When you pump aloe vera out, it's more of a solid form, but as the warmth of your skin warms it up, it just melts into the skin. That's kind of the feeling that I've got for this. Just testing it a little bit there to see if leaving it there is gonna make it harder to blend while I was talking. And I'm happy to report it has not made it harder. It's blended effortlessly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna try applying it with the Blenderful. Seeing if we can build up a little bit more pigment, even though this is pretty typical for my blush. I don't usually go too heavy with my blush, really. As in pigment wise, I usually add a lot. They're just very fair shades. But I wanna see if I can build it up a little bit more and make it a little bit more intense. And I have a feeling the Blenderful is gonna help me do that. <laughs> So I'm just gonna lightly tap in here a little bit. I didn't dig in, I just patted the surface of the product slightly and now I'm gonna apply it and we'll see what happens. Okay, not a lot, so I'm gonna <laughs> apply a little bit more. Ooh, maybe that was too much. Okay. surprised with that. It really just blended into the skin. Yes, I am looking very blush, but I wanted to pack on the product to see what it layers like and what it blends out like, and it looks so nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My nose is my kind of problem area, so I want to see how it reacts on there, because I am liking the Kenny E-Girl trend. <laughs> I'm too old to be an e-girl, but I like the blush look right now. Okay, don't judge me. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks seamless. It looks flawless. I am shocked. <laughs> Buildable, blendable, you have a lot of playtime. The color is just stunning, but that's just a personal preference. <laughs> but look, I've got sculpt. I've got a little bit of bronze, and then I've got this beautiful pop of peach. I love this so much. And also my skin looks really good today. What I love as well is the finish has a slight luminosity to it, but it's not accentuating my pores at all or any surface texture, which is so strange to me. Like my skin just looks healthy and flushed and I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and then I'll discuss my final thoughts on this. Okay? Okay, we'll regroup in a second. Be right back. <laughs> okay, so like three hours later and another video filmed, I'm back to show you guys the finished result. I decided to do a tutorial on the whole fox eye eye lift thing. That'll be coming soon. But yeah, it's been like three, four hours. I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> The blush is still holding up. I'll have to find out what time I finished filming the actual application of this blush to see how much time it's actually been, but it's still going strong. I haven't actually powdered this section of my face. It hasn't got crazy dewy or anything. The bronzer, the sculpt is still there. Like this is lasting really well on my skin and I'm an oily ass bitch, so. <laughs> I'm really impressed with these products. The feel of them, they're so lightweight. They almost melt on contact. They're really malleable and you can go in quite hard and just blend it out. I love the color. Obviously there are other colors. So if you have a different preference, there's other shades to choose from. I truly think Fenty's got another hit on their hands. So well done Fenty. They are really good with these complexion products. I don't personally like the foundations. I like the concealer, bronzer. I like the matchsticks as well. Yeah, I really like this product. They are a bit expensive, like, well, a lot expensive, but Fenty is a higher end brand. And personally, if they last well on the skin, if they apply well on the skin, if they feel like, wait, like I can't feel it on my skin, you know, I don't feel caked. In fact, I don't feel anything at all. And also if the product in itself lasts a long time, like if that blush lasts me like a year, I don't mind spending 19 pounds you know obviously if you're applying it like every single day then it's not gonna last you that long but personally i would buy again 10 out of 10 recommend <laughs> okay i'm not on my third video today i'm just i'm just shelling out all of the videos so i'm gonna now go to bed because it's very late <laughs> if you're new why not stick around join the fam who do i think i am saying fam um it's very late <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe just hit the red button down below and the bell button and yeah I hope to see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys. The cream bronzer looks as When opening a br oh my god. When you open it up, oh my god. I decided.